Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to take an up close and personal of the 2019 Ford EcoSport. There are five trims that are available for the Philippine market, and one right here that I'm going to review is the 1.5 titanium that is mated to a six speed automatic gearbox. For this video, I'll take this Ford EcoSport titanium for a full walk around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. In 2017, Ford has launched the all-new engine, and that is the 1.5 Ti VCT petrol engine, which is the power plant of the refreshed Echo Sport. This engine is featured with a dual over cams, 12 valve, and a naturally aspirated inline 3 cylinder with twin independent variable camshaft timing, as the name suggests. It performs 121 horsepower at 6500 rpm and 150 newton meters of torque at 4500 rpm. Fuel tank size is 52 liters with emission standard of Euro 4. This can either be mated to a 5 speed manual or a new 6 speed automatic gearbox. The Echo Sport's drivetrain is a front wheel drive vehicle. The Echo Sport is Ford's subcompact crossover SUV that was introduced first in the Brazilian market way back 2003. So far, two generations have been produced within the 18th year span time. The focus on this video is the second gen model that has been first showcased as a concept car at the 2012 New Delhi Auto Expo in January 2012 and firstly launched and went on sale six months after the first showcase. Based on the 2011 Ford Fiesta B2E platform, the Echo Sport is pretty unique with its design. It is obviously similar to the Fiesta but with a bigger body structure and stance, increase of height, roomier interior, and a rugged like kind of a car. Surprisingly, the Echo Sport is much affordable subcompact crossover SUV in the market than any other counterparts out there. What I really like about the Ford Echo Sport is the newly improved and updated version that was launched at the 2016 LA Auto Show for the 2017 model year with a newer front fascia, minor updates on the rear, and refreshed interior including the new 8-inch infotainment display equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For the first time, US markets have now begun the sale of the Echo Sport since the year 2018. The Echo Sport is a car that everyone deserves to own an SUV but with a low price range as well as a small silhouette. Still don't get disappointed because this Echo Sport is good for starters that enables to go for their budget to buy their first car of their dreams. The Ford Echo Sport first appeared in the Philippines in 2014. The facelift, however, was launched way back 2018 for the 2019 model year. For the facelift, five trims have offered. 1.5 Ambiente Manual, 1.5 Trend Manual and Automatic, 1.5 Titanium Automatic, and the 1.0 EcoBoost Titanium Automatic. Exterior features are manual leveling halogen reflector headlights, front and rear fog lights, front indicators, chrome highlighted honeycomb front grille, front and rear variable intermittent windshield wipers, indicators on the body colored side mirrors, body colored door handles, silver roof rails, rear incandescent lights, roof antenna, rear spoiler, high mount stoplight, rear parking sensors, and a spare tire that is mounted on the rear hatch. The Ford Echo Sport does come with safety elements such as 6 airbags and lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability control, traction control system, hill start assist, hill descent control, ELR seat belts, seat belt reminder, child-proof door locks, isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, speed sensing door locks, and immobilizer. Fitted on this Echo Sport Titanium are the sets of 17-inch 5 double-spoke alloy rims covered in 205-50 R17 tires. Four-wheel disc brakes are present all around, and the front suspension receives a McPherson struts with coil springs and anti-roll bar. 
The rear suspension utilizes a twist beam setup with twin gas and oil-filled shock absorbers. The 2019 Ford EcoSport now comes with a new Smart Key Access System by Ford. With a remote key on yourself, you will utilize the ridge area found in any two front door handles in order to lock the car and tapping behind the door handle to unlock the car. Speaker down there, storage as well as your bottle holder. Mirror controls, window lock. Window controls, all four windows on this car are fully powered, while the driver's side window gets a fully automatic function in both directions. Tweeter, right next to your interior door handle, got your center locking button. Headlight switch, and if you push this button right here, it adjusts the level of your headlights. These buttons turns off or on your front and rear fog lights, your brightness adjuster, storage, this lever right here pops up your bonnet. The driver's seat of this Ford EcoSport Titanium gets a fully manual adjustment. Got your seat back, height adjuster. Lumbar support and your sliding position controls right down there. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on a height adjuster and a fully manual lumbar support. An electric-assisted rack and pinion power steering system is what the 2019 EcoSport uses. Standard on this titanium trim is a three-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with perforated sections on both sides, sport grips at 10 and 2, contrast stitching going around the inner rim, and a multi-function controls found on both top two steering wheel spokes. There are two transmission choices for the 1.5 TI VCT petrol engine. One is a five-speed manual gearbox, or a 6-speed automatic gearbox as shown here in the video. This one has a low gear selector, and once the car is in the reverse gear, a reverse camera will show up at the 8-inch infotainment display with the activation of rear parking sensors. Center armrest and underneath. But this small size storage area is removable as well. As you expect, that storage area is fairly small, but as you can see, the, the size of the storage area, it is quite big as well, as you can see, with the little pockets right here. Two cup holders, a storage, hand-operated parking brake, cigarette lighter, or a power outlet, it depends on your preference. Small storage area. This button turns off or on your traction control. Two USB ports. Got your single zone automatic climb control system with all of your controls located right here. It is quite simple to use. Fan speed to the left. Temperature to the right. A button to turn off or on your clamp control system. Rear defrost, maximum front defrost, front defrost, different modes, automatic, max air conditioning, recirculation, and air conditioning. Two air convents, 
has their Twitch in the middle. The 2019 Ford EcoSport Titanium gets a Ford's Sync 3 infotainment audio head unit that features an 8-inch color touchscreen display, various media connectivity options including your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and AppLink 3.0, and 6 speakers for the sound system. So this is the screen itself, and underneath, you got your volume knob to the left with your power button, your equalizer settings right here just press this button seek track play and pause and this button turns the display off and your tuning knob on the right side behind is your speaker The Ford Echo Sport Titanium does come standard with a push button ignition, wiper controls to the right, and your indicator controls to the left. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your up and down and OK button that corresponds you to control the multi information display right within the instrument gauge. This button right here, uh, corresponds you to control the informational display on the multi-information display right over here as well as your back button right here While on the right side is your seek track buttons as well as your uh, on hook and off hook buttons for your bluetooth telephone menu volume controls and your voice recognition system the steering wheel on this car gets a fully manual tilt only adjusting using this lever right here No grip handles for this one. The driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror. Sunglass holder. These buttons controls you to open and close the panoramic sunroof. There's also a shade if you don't want to expose sunlight right in the cabin. Interior lights right above. And a manual dimming rear view mirror. The front passenger side sun visor does get a vanity mirror. With a light. One of the most interesting feature about the Ford EcoSport is that, for example, if you open the sun visor and if you open the light and if you forgot to turn off the light the sun visor will turn off automatically for you as you can see again the sun visor will automatically turn off the light for you if you forgot to turn off the light of the sun visor simple and I do realize on this Ford EcoSport that all ceilings don't have grip handles right next to your interior handle got your center locking buttons Some storage right there. And a small size amount of glove box with a storage slot right here, as you can see.
speaker down there, bottle holder, window control. To fold down the rear seats, first move the seat base forward by pulling the sleever. And then fold the seat down by using the button right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the button that you can push in order to fold down the rear seat back. Let me show you. So this is the button. It folds 60-40 split. do have adjustable headrests front and rear and also the doors open quite wide and a 90 degree angle which provides you easy entrance and exit I do set the driver's seat in a position that I feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 9, which is about 1.7 meters tall. And I do have the room to stretch out my feet underneath of the driver's seat. As for that room, I have slightly more than this. While I have this much in terms of headroom, the space inside the Ford EcoSport for the back, it is quite good and also it is very, very spacious right here and also the seats are nicely comfortable as well thanks to its nicely leather sorry it is padded in fabric seats and also you have a nicely bolstered uh, slightly bolstered rather um, seats it gives you a good cushion and overall it is really really good inside the Ford EcoSport lalo na nasa likod ka you don't have storage pocket on the driver's side seat back while on the front passenger side seat back, you do have. However, it is covered in a cover, a white cover. So I don't want to show you. So I don't want to show you for now. One interesting feature about the Ford EcoSport is that you do have central locking buttons for the rear. You do also have a center armrest, but it is covered, again, it is covered in a uh white cover right here i don't know what how can i describe this it is a it's kind of, sort of like a cloth something else anyways i don't want to show you for now well it is well that is pretty much it for the rear and oh by the way you do have little storage for both sides as well as a cabin light right above
to open up the rear hatch, go towards the hatch itself and locate the black button right here to open up the rear hatch. The rear hatch opens on this way. Cargo space for the Ford EcoSport is measured by 335 liters when the rear seats are upright and 1,178 liters when the rear seats are folded and removing the cargo cover. There are two little storages on both sides and underneath at the boot floor are your warning triangle and a toolkit. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this full walk around review of the 2019 Ford EcoSport 1.5 Titanium that is mated to a new 6-speed automatic gearbox. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time for more latest videos. Thank you for watching and